Phoenix International Raceway, the Indy Racing League. Tony Kanan now with 14 laps to go is the leader of the Pure X style Indy 200. The question is, does he have enough fuel to go? Jill DeFerrin is working on Michael and Rennie and they touch. They both catch the wall. Well, Michael had to have known that Jill was looking there. He looked there the previous time and that was a big collision, Paul. So DeFerrin trying to come back through the field. We're looking the cockpit to see whether or not there's any movement from either driver. As yet, no. And that was a big hit. Tenth caution of the day. So going into turn one, DeFerrin and Andretti battled. And then they touched and both right up into the wall on the exit of one. And the IRL safety team there immediately. Tony Kanan, the teammate to Michael Andretti, the pole sitter, that puts him in pretty good shape. Well, now, here, here's the good news. Uh, Michael Andretti is climbing out of the car but he's limping. Paul, usually with an impact like that, they see anywhere from 50 to 80, maybe over 100 Gs. Now, I want to explain something. There's a new system on the car this year that sits right down here on the side pod, and it's a light system, and it's set up for the black box in the car. If the car is subject to over 50 Gs upon impact, when these safety workers that you see in orange arrive at the car, there'll be a light system going off there if it's over 50 Gs. They know how severe the impact is when they come up to the accident scene. If the light is going off, they know that they could have a real serious injury. If not, it's usually under 50 Gs, and that's where the threshold is where drivers generally are maybe not too hurt. So Michael Andretti talking with his rescuers. Uh, Jill DeFerrin, we're waiting for the report. Remember that last year he had to sit out the final races of the season because of the injury he sustained in the race at Chicago. Here it is, Scott. And you watch. Now, Michael didn't expect Jill to be there so early, but Jill certainly had a run on him going into the turn. Michael went a little bit high to start to weave the car down towards the turn like he should do. See, a good run by Jill DeFerrin. Jill's clearly beside him. Michael should have some information from his spotter to let him know what's going on. The fire that you see going along there is an oil fire. That's really no harm to the driver whatsoever. And yeah, the oil cooler is in the left side of the car. The theory being more often than not, you're going to hit with the right side of the car. But DeFerrin came all the way around, caught it with the left side, and that ignited the oil fire. Now, remember, right now, as they go together, those wheels have actually touched. The wheel is actually broken on the right rear of Gilles car. Michael's suspension is broken. He goes into the wall head first, which is usually the worst, but the impact right there, let's hold it right there for a second. Look at the impact. The car has gone almost straight back in, going into the, the wall. Now there's an attenuator right there, and actually what ends up happening as we clear the screen and move along, the attenuator actually absorbs a lot of the impact, and it's a new attenuator that the IRL has come up with this winter for a safety reason. It's much larger than last year, so hopefully it's actually done a great job. And they're still working with Jill DeFerrin at the car. Michael Andretti, we've seen him get out. Tony Kanan is the leader under caution. We'll return after this word from our ABC station. This is ABC Sports Championship Television.